these free-to-play pieces of shit. They're not free-to-play. Rollercoaster Tycoon 4, when it first came out, was a paid game. You had to pay two quid to get into this hellhole. This absolute hellhole where the queue paths are just decorations. And awful, awful things everywhere. A horror, a horrible, horrible, horrible game. That, and this is the terrifying part, got... Okay reviews. I mean, its Metacritic average is somewhere in 40s for Dungeon Keeper, but some people gave it 8s and 7s out of 10. Listen to this. Dungeon Keeper for iOS is a well-made mobile update of a classic, says Side to Play. Uh, one for eight apps. Dungeon Keeper iOS outing is most definitely not the PC classic we all remember, too fucking right, but as a regular old freemium game, it's actually quite enjoyable. Do you guys not have a concept of fun? At all! I mean, it's a, this is a great game. What did you? Well, I touch this block and then I stop playing. That's not... What the fuck? And the top one. Mac Life. Dungeon Keeper's Pat Down Reboot is fun in its own right. No, it's not, you stupid knobs! Whew. Okay, so one last thing to point out before I finish this video up. The user score on Metacritic, the user reviews uh, for Dungeon Keeper are 0.4 out of 10. And Roller Coaster Tycoon 4 gets 0.3 out of 10. If you check those games on the iOS store, they both get a score of 4 out of 5. People ask me sometimes, why do you say all mobile gaming is worthless? Well, this is the reason why. Tomorrow, non-poop games to cheer us up from this absolute car accident of shititude. Uh, fuck it, I'm going to go and have a lie down. Ta-ra.